Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn serum calcium, ionized calcium and about corrected calcium. 99% of our body calcium is stored in bones and a very small amount that is remaining 1% of calcium circulates in blood and that calcium is called serum calcium. And this serum calcium circulates in two different forms that is free calcium and bound calcium. This free calcium is called ionized calcium. So free calcium is ionized calcium that means it is not attached to any compounds. They are active and it is available to use whereas bound calcium is bound to protein primarily to albumin and to other compounds example phosphate, bicarbonate etc. They are in inactive form and not in usable form. So when we measure serum calcium, it measures free calcium, that is ionized calcium and bound calcium. Serum calcium, it is the type of blood calcium test doctors order most often. Now the normal serum calcium level is 8.6 to 10.3 milligram per deciliter. And the normal value of free calcium or ionized calcium is 1.16 to 1.31 if it is in millimole per liter. If it is in milligram per deciliter, the normal value is 4.65 to 5.25. So serum calcium measures free calcium plus bound calcium. Now if a patient has low albumin level, it can decrease the bound calcium level because bound calcium is calcium bound to protein primarily to albumin. So if bound calcium decreases, it can decrease the serum calcium level. So remember increase or decrease albumin level in a patient can change the total calcium level. So if the serum calcium or the total calcium is low but the ionized calcium or the free calcium is normal it is called pseudo hypercalcemia that is not because of low calcium but because of the low albumin level so if a patient has low serum calcium and low albumin doctor can either order a ionized calcium or check for the corrected calcium value now what is corrected calcium for every decrease in albumin by 1 gram per deciliter, calcium drops by 0.8 milligram per deciliter. That is, normal albumin level is around 4. If a patient albumin is 2, there is a drop of albumin by 2. Then the serum calcium also drops by 0 0.8 into 2, that is 1.6. The shortcut or the formula to find the corrected calcium value is corrected calcium is equal to measured calcium, that is your serum calcium plus 0.8 into 4 minus albumin. Example, if a patient's calcium level is 7 and albumin is 2. Here you can see the albumin is low and the calcium is low. So you have to figure out whether this low calcium is because of low albumin. So to find out the corrected calcium, you apply the formula measured calcium, that is your total serum calcium, that is 7 plus 0 0.8 into 4 minus albumin. Albumin is 2. So 0 0.8 into 4 minus 2, that gives 2. So 7 plus 0 0.8 into 2 is equal to 7 plus 0 0.8 into 2 gives 1.6, that is equal to 8.6. So the corrected calcium value is 8.6, which is normal. So you can see the low calcium level is because of low albumin and that is pseudo hypercalcemia. So you have to figure out the corrected calcium value if the patient has low albumin and low serum calcium. So today we learned about serum calcium, ionized calcium and corrected calcium and thanks for watching my video.